Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and I'm talking about the mid-season finale of Arrow. So let's talk about this episode. <laughs> That's all I could say. Uh, this episode, I'm going to say, I guessed everything that was going to happen. So if you've been listening to my theories every week. Um, everything I said pretty much happened in this episode. Um, I've been paying very close attention to the Sour Death plot, and we find out who killed Sour. I think there's only like one little thing that I didn't um, see coming with that, which is good, because I was happy that my theory came came true. I don't think it was obvious. I worked hard for this theory. Uh, but who killed Sarah was Thea. So I was right. I was right that it was Thea. Um, I love that Oliver is so much in denial in this episode that Thea killed Sarah. We find out that Malcolm has been using Thea as a pawn just to kill um, kill Oliver, but still, like, be in Thea's good grace. Uh, that way Malcolm is not the one who kills Oliver, but it's Ra's al Ghul. Um, and that's what happens here. Uh, to protect Thea, Oliver fights Ra's al Ghul, it doesn't go well, and Oliver's dead. And, uh, so what happens with that? We know that Oliver won't be the next three episodes after the mid-season, uh, finale. So with the mid-season premiere, he won't be in it. The next three episodes, he's only going to be in flashbacks, which we got some flashbacks, which I was like, whatever. I really didn't care about the flashbacks of Katana and Hong Kong. We're going to be getting all this great, juicy story from, from the present. Uh, so I love this episode. I love how Thea has been keeping so many secrets, I think even from the audience. And I think it, if you look back now, it's a little obvious of why they haven't used a character. It's really that way the audience wouldn't guess it's Thea. Say, oh, it's Malcolm. Oh, it's Ra's al Ghul. Come up with those theories. Uh, or, or, oh, it's Roy. Uh, because they're more in the forefront than Thea was. They were like hiding her in the side. That way people wouldn't guess it was Thea. Because they did that, I was thinking it has to be Thea. Uh, but the way they did it I thought was really good because it gives Thea a lot of redemption. Because that was the only piece of the puzzle I really couldn't figure is how is Thea going to redeem herself. And even though Thea is totally brainwashed in all levels of brainwashery, um, I think she could be redeemed. Uh, and the big thing is Laurel versus Thea. Is this the reason Laurel becomes Black Canary? Um, is Thea going to be a villain? I think... You know, Thea was under mind control completely. It wasn't her decision that she killed Sarah. We don't even know if she did kill... Like, we don't know if she knows that she killed Sarah. So, I think it was really interesting that Oliver didn't tell Thea. And now Thea's gonna have to figure out on her own the things she's done. And this gives her a redeemable quality because she ha doesn't know what she did and she doesn't know the full extent of her father. And that redeemable quality is that she was totally brainwashed. And where does she go from here? Um, I hear by the by the next couple of episodes when the show does return, Felicity is going to have a lot of scenes with Thea. So I honestly think it will be Felicity who tells Thea what Oliver is, that Oliver is the arrow and did it because of you. And I think, again, that gives Thea the opportunity maybe to join Team Arrow, but does that make sense with Laurel facing Thea? Will there be a Laurel-Thea face-off? Uh, I think there's definitely a possibility, because Laurel's anger, I don't think she's going to understand that Thea was under mind control, but also I think Laurel sees Thea as kind of her little sister, because she grew up with Thea also. So I think that's the, what's going to be some really interesting stories coming up is where does Thea go from here? Um, what position is she in? Is she a villain? Is she a hero? And what happens when Oliver is not in the show? And that's something the writers are gonna do, which I'm totally excited for. And I think it's just gonna show how great the show is, and not just because of Oliver Queen, but because of these supporting characters. Uh, and I think we're gonna get a lot of spotlight with characters we, we usually don't get spotlight with. So we're going to see the evolution of Laurel becoming Black Canary and uh, probably the evolution of Thea kind of realizing is Oliver the right one or is my father the right one, her discovering who she is. That's the question. Is she going to be Cheshire or is she going to be Speedy? And uh, I'm really curious to see where that goes. And um, I don't know if we'll get answers right away, but it'll be that journey of uh, both characters figuring out what place they're in. Um, let's talk about some Olicity also. Uh, the great Olicity moment where Oliver says, I love you, and there's no trick to it. Uh, so I thought that was a great ending for Oliver. And um, 
I'm really excited again just to see where uh, this this story goes with Oliver's death. Uh, so big question is how how is Oliver gonna survive? Um, he's I think he is dead. I think he's dead. But the Lazarus Lazarus pit will bring him back. But who's gonna put him in the Lazarus pit? These are the questions. Uh, maybe Sarah's still alive? Probably not because they buried her body. So that's that's a really bad theory. But uh, I I do think Oliver is gonna survive with the Lazarus Pit, but who's gonna put him in the Lazarus Pit is the question. Could it be that guy who's Katana's uh, husband? A lot of good questions going on here uh, that I'm curious about, but I don't think we're gonna find out until like February. But uh, this is an action-packed, everything I loved finale, and I, I just love that I guess the, this theory. I re even the, the whole Felicity, uh, the whole thing where the person had to be short, I guess that. Uh, and it was everything I, I imagined, so I really enjoyed this uh, finale, and I obviously can't wait for, for the show to come back. Uh, please tell me in the comments below, is this the guess you had? Do you think, um, did you guys think it was Thea also? Um, and if you didn't, who did you think it was? And where do you think these characters are going to go? Because the, the promo didn't really show much, it just showed Oliver Queen is dead. Hopefully we get an extended promo between after the holidays and everything. Uh, but please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. This is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget, to, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Um, also, description below, there's links from my comic book, like Father Light Daughter. Don't forget to like the Facebook page, like Father Light Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.